How is everything going? I hope you're doing well. I know I am. I am here because I wanted to show you how to run you how to run BeamNG while using your Wii remote. That's right. So you're gonna need the driver that's in the description. The installation is fairly self-explanatory. But what you want to make sure when you go here is that let's see where is it right here. You have to go into the folder. You want to find the control center, and you'll open it up. It's gonna ask. Yes, you do. And you want to make sure that the driver is installed. That will require you to boot your um your thing. I can't even talk. Um, you'll have to install it. There. I believe it will require a, re a reboot. I can't remember though. And it helps to have it in test mode. That helps. So that's it for that. Once you're done with that, you want to go into Dolphin Emulator. You need to have that as well. Let's go down here. Dolphin Master. Where's Dolphin Emulator? Oh, I have it down here in my taskbar. Duh. I'm tired. So. Where is it? Why are you not loading? There we go. You want to go to controllers, and then you want to emulate the Wii's Bluetooth. Depending on how many you want to use, I'm going to hit uh, two, because I have two remotes here. And that's pretty much it. And then, of course, you do need to have a... Well, that works. <sighs> you do need to have a Bluetooth dongle or adapter or something if your PC does not have Bluetooth, as mine does not. So, mine's already plugged in, I forgot. If I go here, you can see it's it's ready. So, all you have to do now is I find, this is the easiest way for me, is that you'll want to just press and hold on the sync button of the Wii Remote, and it should, if everything works properly, you should get that notification, and then one, two, or three lights on the right side of your remote should light up. On the right side, not the left side, because that's that means that it's connected in a different way, and your remote should not rumble. When you do that, then it comes the fun part. We have to go into BeamNG, and we have to actually set up the controls. Now I'm referencing an image that I sent to somebody else on Discord for controls, because I recently had to do a hard drive, uh, I can't talk. I recently had to, um, format my hard drive, which is not fun. At any rate, let's see, what is this here? We can close this. So, we have Dolphin open and everything. <sighs> I thought I already launched BeamNG. This computer, ever since the hard drive format, for whatever reason, has been unusually slow. Let me see here. Got to remember. Okay, here we go. So we'll go here. And whenever it decides to load. My PC has been way slower since this format. And um, now we're here. I don't have a lot of mod mods installed at the moment, so, because again, I did have to recently format it, but I do have this, I made this, it is a actually pure, I call it, I called it no grid actually pure version of the grid small pure, because I do a lot of high speed testing with cars and mods I'm working on, I'm talking like 600 mile an hour testing, dude, seriously. It's literally just a white piece of ground. That's all it is. And it's not even a piece of ground. It's infinite. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So then, of course, you'll want to hit escape. And then you'll want to go down into your control settings, of course. You already know this, though. Controls. So then you'll want to go to vehicle. And this is how I personally have it. I personally bind two... Which, it's really hard to do this right. Um, let me try it one more time. 
should say button one. Yes, that might sound wrong, but that is actually correct. Now I have multiple instances of BeamNG open. Can close that. So we want that, and then I have one for break. This is just personally how I do it. It's gonna say button zero, that's fine. Make sure you hit apply. I have steering at where it says axis and or mouse. And then I just make sure I'm moving it in the right axis to where it is detected properly. Helps to set it down on a flat per per surface. I cannot talk. Make sure it is properly calibrated. I leave the linearity where it is. And I have a small rest dead zone. This is again how I like it. Um, because I've, I've played many a racing game on the Wii. So, yep. I personally like the dead zones set to 0.12. I'm, again, I'm just referencing how I had it set up before the format. And then the rest dead zone I have set to 0.12 as well. And then linearity, I'm sorry, I actually have it set to 1.1. Just a small difference. And that should be it for that. And then I have, make sure to hit apply. Then I have A as the clutch. Make sure to hit apply. I know it's not showing the right buttons, but that's totally okay. That's normal. It did not apply, did it? Okay, there we go. And then I have B for the handbrake. Kind of similar to what you would find in a Need for Speed or Wii Racing game. Um, in my experience, for whatever reason, the D-pad does not work on the Wii Remote. Maybe it will this time, but I don't know. At any point. Now we go down here, and where's the one I'm looking for? It's Reset and Recover. Seriously, where is Reset and Recover? Is it not under Vehicle? It's probably not under Vehicle. It's probably under Gameplay. Yep, Reset Physics. And I have that set to Plus. And then I have re Recover, Reset set to Plus, and Recover set to Minus. And now, we should be good to go. There is no throttle control. You could probably set the x-axis to work like a uh, to um, work like a motorcycle handlebar. In theory, I don't know though. I've always used the uh, the Wii remote with the controls facing me rather than flat, like most people. Let me go ahead and make it, you know, um, around the sunset time, so we can have some sense of direction. And. Now there's obviously no clutch with an automatic transmission, but as you can see, 